Okay, you guys, I thought I would show you this. Uh, this is the final look at my yarn room for this year. I've changed a little bit. Uh, so we're going to take a tour. Are you ready? But first, ciao bella. Welcome to Bella Uncinetto. I'm Christina, and I'm so glad you're here with me today. If you're new, welcome in. If you're returning, welcome back. No matter how long you've been here, I always appreciate your time. So we're in the doorway, obviously. Uh, this... Uh, was over there. Uh, this item was not built yet. Um, I've had this for a very long time, but it used to be in my bedroom when I was in the States, and it would house extra clothes or different things, but now it's in here because I don't need it upstairs. Uh, and I'm still organizing you all, but I thought I'd give you a look so you can see uh, down here I have some scraps and other yarns, books, notions uh, in here I have things like organza bags I have felt uh, other little items in here there's some fabric in there these are some signs and posters and things that I want to hang up in here these are some towels I want to get working on <laughs> at some point when I can find my little puncher again the little thing that I can punch holes in the towels for. Um, this is my cotton closet here. Um, this only has cotton and cotton blends in it and it is very very full. Uh, up here is buttons and other things. These are the signs that Antoinette at Hook and Stitch and Island Style made for me. Very very glad that they made it without being broken. Uh, so I have those and then if we go down I have this. This right now is kind of a catch-all. Hold on just one second. All right, this is kind of a catch-all as I find things and I'm like, oh, this doesn't belong here. or Oh, this needs to move somewhere else. I try to put it there so I can sort. And then if we go up, this is yarn. <laughs> Lots of yarn. Uh, and it goes all the way down. I did not have these shelves in the States. Uh, I got them from someone who was moving actually to Japan uh, and I was able to get these from them before they left because they weren't going to have room for them in their uh, new place. So uh, it, it's about two deep so for everything you see in front there's another set of yarn behind it. Uh, I tried to put similar things back there. Uh, what I could of the things that I had. I know what most of it is. I don't have an inventory per se, but I know where most things are. Uh, so one more glance up, we come over. There's a blanket, uh, some packing material. There's nothing else up there. Uh, and then this is where the organization kind of falls apart <laughs> because uh, yeah, I don't have, there's no shelves in here. So I tried to get like buckets or these are buckets that I had, but I try to get them and organize them. And then um, it just doesn't, it doesn't stay well. And then up here in the States, I had like the things that I had in the bins, like my felt and polyfill and all that, that was up here uh, in the States. But uh, I lost two cabinets um, that I had yarn in to other things and to mold when I got here. So uh, then down here is more yarn. So down in there is yarn. And then these are boxes and baskets of miscellaneous things. Some of it's yarn, some of it's not. There's a sewing machine. This, um, ooh, can you focus? There we go. This top bin is all scraps. Um, that I'm going to use. These are my scraps that I have for my teaching uh, class. And then these two are pretty full balls of different things that I started projects with. Um, or at the very, very bottom down there. Uh, those are things that I got in like Happy Mail, but they didn't have labels on them. Some more yarn, obviously. Packages, crochet kit. Um... These are little tiny yarns. Uh, then there's my desk. 
and more things on the floor. <laughs> um, so I'm just trying to organize all of this stuff and see where it's going to end up. I don't know. Uh, this is a really cool lamp that I bought from someone for like $3 because they were moving. That is my lamp from the States. I don't know if you recognize it, but there it is. Uh, and then I don't know. I'm going to slowly come over here. This stuff is yarn and other things. And here's a bunch of hooks. There's some Lether Co hooks, uh, some Hobby Lobby hooks, other things like that. Uh, because I'm just now getting to where I can open up things, even though I put them in here, where I can open up things from when they were moved in almost literally a year ago. Uh, and then I'm going to pause real quick and I'm going to take you out into the main area. So I didn't want to walk too quickly uh, and make anyone dizzy, so that's why I just paused it. This bin is the only bin that's out here that I need to show you because this is the rest of my yarn for teaching. Uh, there's some scraps that um, Marianne, the crotchety clogger, sent me, Kay uh, sent me, and then this bag right here is a bag of scraps that someone gave me before I moved um, to Sicily. She was moving and she knew that I crocheted and she had the scraps and she was like, I'm not going to use them. You can have them. And I was like, okay, fine. And then I ended up with a bag on my doorstep. So there's that. But I'm going to put the hooks and all of that in there. And this is going to be my bin for when I go to classes. I can have things. I'm going to get some of my baskets so that I can make it kind of nice and neat so people can pick things when they're doing projects. All right, so I'm back <laughs> in the doorway and I still have to get things on the walls. I still have to figure out what I'm going to do with all of my project bags because I have them hanging on different things. Like they're all hanging there. Some of them are down there. Some of them are on this door here. And... <laughs> It's coming along, it's better than it was before, um, but this is all I've managed to accomplish. I did spend a day and a half in here while I was on my break, uh, but this is this is my yarn library. Um, as Mike uh, from Sam at Mampas Makes has so dubbed it, and um, yeah, I just, I'm still working, it's still, progress needs to be made but it's better than it was there were all of this stuff in here was in a box it was put in here but it was in a box so I've unpacked it all most of the yarn has a home there's still bins in here that are empty that I can put yarn in um, there's still space in this cabinet here that I can put, use for yarn I just have to organize it better uh, and I do have a caddy upstairs in my bedroom that I'm gonna take and put some yarn in um, just for simple like washcloth projects that maybe I can do at nighttime. And the only other thing that I have that's not in here is the entire bin of yarn for that I got through the Happy Mill Advent Project with Marlene. So after I opened it, I had like a square um, they would kind of fit in there, but they're like, the, oh, sorry. There's the squared totes that you could put in shelves like that. And I just have one in my coffee table that I just would put the yarn in. So that if I needed to reference it while I was opening them, I had them. But then they were all together for the final um, bin that I could bring downstairs, which I haven't done yet. So... Any tips, any suggestions, even if it's something to like, I don't know, put on the wall where I could like hang bags, uh, something like that. Um, anything, any suggestions. I know I should probably do an inventory, but that's not where I excel. I don't excel in the numbers and the, the things. <laughs> Looking at it, using it. Um, making an inventory of it is just every time I think about it, I'm like, Meh, no, I, it's not where I want to spend my energy. So anyway, um, I will let you all go. I just thought you would see one final look for 2023. And I hope that everyone 
has a wonderful end to 2023 and a blessed beginning to 2024. So as always, be the change you wish to see in the world, everyone. Ciao, bella!